In this video, we are going to learn about bunny rabbits. Yeah, bunny rabbits. And this is where we're going to start. Rabbits are small mammals that are famous for their long ears. Hey there, little rabbit. And you might have already noticed this, but in addition to their long ears, rabbits have little tails that look like buns. Do you see the little tail? Uh-huh. Right here, their tails look like buns. Many people believe that is why rabbits are called bunnies, because their little tails look like buns. It makes sense. Which leads us to this question. What do you call these animals? You see, some people call all rabbits bunnies. Other people just use the regular name for them and call all of them rabbits. And still other people call all rabbits bunny rabbits. Wow, kind of confusing. Then other people think of only young rabbits as bunnies. Oh my goodness, so confusing. But at the end of the day, the name bunny is just a nickname. It's just a nickname, which is why people use it in different ways. So what do you call them? Let us know in the comment section below. Are you team rabbit? Are you team bunny rabbit? Are you team bunny? Are you team bunny only when they're small? Let us know. All right, so we learned that rabbits are mammals that have long ears and have small tails that look like buns. Next, we have a shocking fact for you. We hope you're sitting down. Did you know the main foods that rabbits eat are hay and grass? Uh-huh. Hay and grass are the most important parts of a diet for most rabbits. Many people think that rabbits mainly eat carrots. They do. When most of us think of rabbit food, we do think of carrots, right? While rabbits enjoy carrots, it isn't the main thing they eat. Rabbits have very sensitive stomachs. It is so important for rabbits to fill up on hay and grass. So carrots are great for rabbits as a special treat, but not as the primary food. Rabbits enjoy many other vegetables and can even eat fruit, too. Enjoying your lunch, bunny rabbits? Yeah, <laughs> too busy chewing to talk, huh? Yeah, pretty good grass, right? Yeah, mmm, yummy, mmm, tasty. Their diet, that means the food they eat, allows rabbits to live in many different environments. In fact, did you know rabbits are found all over the world in every continent except Antarctica? Pretty cool, huh? Now, wherever they live in the world, rabbits have to be careful. That is because rabbits are prey animals. Prey animals are animals that get hunted by other animals. In other words, around the world, rabbits are a source of food to many different animals. That is a big reason why their large ears are so helpful. Their big ears help them listen to all of the sounds around them so they could know if they are in danger. They are always trying to stay aware of what's going on so they don't become another animal's meal. And it's not just their large ears keeping them safe. They often sleep with their eyes open, just in case there's a creature sneaking up on a bunny rabbit or trying to get it. Can you imagine sleeping with your eyes open? That would be so weird. People would sleep without people even knowing it. In fact, who knows if this bunny is sleeping or is awake? Maybe it's sleeping, maybe not. What do you think? This bunny is definitely awake. <laughs> or is it? Hmm... Okay, now it is rabbit trivia time. What do you call a group of rabbits? Actually, that sounds like a joke. This isn't a joke. This is a very serious question. What do you call a group of rabbits? 
Well, a group of rabbits is called a colony. Look at that colony of rabbits. By the way, you have to share that with someone. Tell someone today that a group of rabbits is called a colony. That would be so cool. To share that fact with someone, a group of rabbits is called a colony. Now, in a colony of rabbits, you may find a baby rabbit. Baby rabbits are called kittens. Just like baby cats are called kittens, we use the same word. This is definitely a mega cute kitten, okay? Baby rabbits are called kittens. Okay, here is our final fact. It's another thing rabbits have in common with cats. Did you know that rabbits purr when they are happy? Purring for rabbits is different than purring for cats. When rabbits purr, they actually use their teeth. They rub their teeth together to show that they're happy. So it's very different, but it means eh, the bunny's pretty happy. It's a happy bunny rabbit.